Hey guys, what's up? Why sell so please first though? And today I'm going to tell you the best emulator for your Android device. So because he has shown you an uh, Bose x86 PC emulator which is used for running Windows operating system or Android device, and I shown you how you can run Windows XP or Windows 7 over your Android device by using this Bose x86 emulator. So if you're interested, you can check it in my channel. And now today I'm going to tell you another emulator for your Android device, and this emulator is much faster than the Bose x86 emulator for your Android. So this emulator name is Limbo PC emulator. You can see I already installed it. Uh, here it is. I will put down the link of uh, download so you can download it from there. Uh, let me open it. You can see it's Limbo PC emulator. When you open it, you will see there are a lot of this options that is present here that you will not get in the Bose x86 PC emulator for Android. So you can see there is so many options here. So now I'm going to tell uh, show you running window XP my Android device and this time it will not take much time in boot up so it will boot up in almost 5 to 10 minutes and this is pretty much fast in comparison to the Bose x86 PC emulator for Android that I shown in my previous videos so let me show uh, what are the options available in this here you can see you can load a machine when you click on the load machine you can just uh, create a new machine you here you can see I just run the Windows XP Kali Linux Ubuntu Windows 7 and Windows 95 and all others uh, virtual machine I created here so you can also here see that let me once uh, run the window XP you can see I will click on a new and type here windows sorry for the mistake windows XP SP3 and now I'm going to create a new virtual machine which name is Windows XP SP3 and here you can see the user interface I'm going to select is a SDL so you can also uh, connect it through the VNC viewer uh, but I'm going to select, select the SDL type operating system and now I'm going to select the architecture you can also change the architecture into the x64 or x86 I'm going to select the x86 uh, x86 means that 32 bit operating system so I selected I selected x86 operating system and now I'm going to select the CPU model so I will recommend you to select the QMO32 you can also see that there is no a lot of options available here there is a core duo and Pentium Pentium 2 Pentium 3 Athlon and all types of the uh, CPU model that is available in the market so I'm going to select the QMO32 and here you can see you can select the CPU cores that you want to give to your virtual machine so I have a quad core processor I'm going to give it two cores any dual core processors uh, uh, here about the RAM you can just give the RAM according to your RAM uh, I'm going to just give it almost 1 GB of RAM uh, here you can see there is an option of storage so here you can create a multiple hard disks for your virtual machine here is hard disk 1, hard disk B, hard disk C, hard disk D so I'm gonna do select on the hard disk first and create on uh, click on a none and here you can see uh, here is an option of new create a new hard disk so I'm not going to create a new uh, hard disk. I will just click on the open and select an image file of Windows XP that I stored in my win uh, internal storage. So you can also just do it. You can. Uh, I will put on the link below for the Windows XP image file that you can use for running Windows XP by using this PC emulator. So you can see I go to the internal storage. Uh, one more thing I like to tell you that when you will install the Limbo PC emulator, uh, this app automatically create a folder inside your internal storage names limbo and you have to just uh, copy your image file in that folder you can see there is a limbo piece uh, limbo folder in my internal storage click i uh, let me show you uh, when you open it you can see i just put it the xp dot image file in this file so i'm going to just select it for a hard disk a you can see i just selected a hard disk and when i click on the uh, run it will boot up from this hard disk uh, you can also see that there is a uh, four more hard disk that it, uh, normally your computer has uh, you can also see here a set folder option uh, for removal storage you can also see here is a ST, uh, cd rom so when you click on it uh, and click on the none uh, you will uh, you can also click on the open and select it and any iso files that you want to install over your uh, virtual machine so i don't gonna to do this i just going to boot up uh, a window XP by using this hard disk image so uh, you can see there is video display just let it uh, as it is don't disturb this so you can see the option of VGA display the sound card the network network card DNC server uh, here you can also the boot from device you can see that 
here you can select uh, default or here you can uh, uh, select a cd-rom floppy disk hard disk so i am going to just select on default and here i will click on the full screen and the landscape moon or here in the uh, keyboard layout is english language so when you set up all this just click on the play button so you can see when i click on the play button the windows xp installation will begin so you can see that it will say uh, start windows save mode i will just click on the back and keyboard option and select the start windows normally you can see that it's booting up and it will boot up in a very very fast speed in the previous video i shown you the bose limiter and it takes a lot of time in booting up windows xp and here you can see it's booting up uh, it takes almost 5 to 10 minutes you can see it is currently 1 to 1 to 9 pm and let's see in how much time it just boot up windows xp in your device uh, uh, let me just clear the ram you can see it's already 1 gb free over there Uh, by using uh, let me show uh, tell you one more thing that by using this simulator you can also run windows 10 or run any other windows operating system that you want to run just to do this you have to just install a windows 10 over an image file and put that in your internal storage and select a hard disk uh, for that image file and when you click on the run it will run it or here you can also run the kali linux by using that uh, iso file and uh, just uh, direct it to the uh, CD ROM options and you will set select the Kali uh, Linux ISO and will you click on the run it will start the installation process so just follow the all the instructions you can see it's booting up and it takes some time as it's not a computer it's Android device but it's still it's running very fast you can see the boss router is taking so much time as I shown you it takes almost one to one and a half hour you can see it just completed that process and now you can see it's going to open the start screen let it open uh, let me see is there notification in that yeah taking some time you can see that there is a cursor icon coming out here mouse option and you can see just it's very smooth experience in the boss limiter it's running very very slower and it's not usable but this limbo pc limiter makes the windows xp visible over your android device so let it open fully it's taking some time i think it's passed uh, two minutes when i click on the install oh, sorry run you can see it's booting up so this limbo pc meter is still on the work as the boss pc uh, meter that i shown you previously so it is also in the beta project and developers working on it so you will get also get a faster speed in comparison to this so wait for that until you can use that version that i am using i will put a link don't worry about this I will also put the Windows XP and Windows 95 image file uh, link in the description so you have to download it from there and uh, Limbo PC Meter link in the description you should also download it from here and just follow the instruction I shown you and you will see that your Android will run Windows XP or any other operating system that you want to run over your Android device so you can see it's showing the welcome screen and it's pretty much faster than the Bose emulator that I shown you previously so uh, let me tell you that for the uh, mouse keyboards you can just select uh, just connect an otg cable over your android and connect any uh, mouse or keyboard that you want or otherwise you can just select uh, your mouse uh, your volume up and volume down button your volume up button will act like a mouse uh, left click and volume down will act like a volume um, uh, mouse right click uh, let it open let me show you it's taking some time you can see it's three minute passed and you can see it just opened up let all the process will complete let it boot up fully you can see here is the start menu option uh, recycle bin and time of the computer
uh, you can see it's booting up uh, you can see it's just booted up uh, let it complete all the booting process uh, it's very much fun for that you can just uh, create an image file of windows 10 and just try it uh, you can see it just booted up now i am click on the start button uh, i will just going to click the volume up button for the mouse left click you can see i click on it and it's going to open sorry just taking some time more uh, you can see it's opened and you can see the cursor is running very very smooth as i just swipe over my screen the mouse cursor is also running in a direct direction with this constant speed so you can see here you get all the options of all the options of my computer my document i'm going to go control panel let me show you it will run faster in comparison in comparison to both x86 pc simulator for android you can see uh, here you can see his control panel is opening up uh, here are all the options add hardware add or remove softwares and administrative tools date and time display folder options and internet option mouse keyboard network connections all the stuff that you will see in your windows xp uh, you can also just go to any other options uh, let me show you i will go to the uh, my computer you can see i am going to my computer so if you want to add an additional hard disk you can just add your sata or any hard disk uh, device to uh, hard disk b and you will see it will be shown up here you can see i just only co uh, connected only one hard disk that is local disk c here and that has the windows xp image so you can also just add any other hard disk and uh, just uh, keep any files in it and install the software from that it will open there uh, you can see so it's very similar to windows xp normal usage in your computer and uh, let me just uh, click on the refresh you can see the refreshing up so the you can see it so this is the pc uh, limbo pc router that's all about i'm going to uh, i was i wanting to sell uh, show you so it's run very very faster than the both simulator so you have to try just make a try on, on it and you will please to see the speed of the limbo pc simulator so thanks guys for watching this video and hope you like this and if you like please click on the like button below and comment for any questions and one more thing please subscribe to my youtube channel it's helped me a lot so thanks for watching my video good luck bye take care